Time now to go, you know where, inside TMZ for all of the latest from Hollywood with, as I like to say, you know who, it's our buddy Branson Quirk all the way from Los Angeles. Good morning, buddy. Good morning, how you doing, Brennan? Good to see you. I am well, always great to see you. Let's get right to it here. Apparently, Billy Ray Cyrus's achy, breaky heart has mended. <laughs> he is uh, moving yeah. on, what's going on? <laughs> Great, great intro on that. I mean, let me tell you, this marriage did not last long at all. We, I mean, they've only been married for seven months, and it was just back in May that he filed for an annulment from Fire Rose, and now the marriage is officially over. The divorce has officially been closed, and it only took three months. You know, with celebrity you know, marriages, things like that can usually take a very long time to settle, so this was pretty quick, but this did not come without, you know, a messy, messy uh, few months because we saw so many... Uh, uh, very troubling things come out of this uh, marriage towards the end. Uh, he had claimed so many different things. He claimed that she had used his credit cards, and then and then there was audio released of, of Billy uh, verbally abusing or verbally just shouting many, many choice words at Fire Rose that was released and leaked. So a lot of uh, things went down towards the end of this marriage, but we do know that it has been signed, sealed, delivered. The court has officially closed this divorce in the Tennessee court. So as of right now, you know, we're just kind of looking at the fallout of this, but it looks like the two are free to go their separate ways, but not from uh, her lawyers uh, saying a little bit of uh, things on their end, saying that if this had gone to trial, that there was a significant amount of evidence to back up a lot of the claims that she had, and that if that evidence was provided, uh, that uh, things would go down a little bit different way. But we do know that in these court docs that she actually walked away from the marriage with absolutely zero dollars and zero cents, so she's not going to be making any money from this, but we do know she also changed her last name to Cyrus, and Billy himself said that that he she basically he, he thinks she basically used this marriage to uh, take his last name and kind of use that for her benefit. But his quote said that this was the craziest thing he's ever done, and that uh, he was the target of a scheme, and that love is blind. That's for sure. That that was his quote. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so, so messy, messy thing. I'm just for my own uh, paperwork here. Her name is Fire Rose. Yes, fire rose, exactly. One, sure. All one word. One, okay, see that? I'm just I'm making a note here so I don't forget. All right, moving on. Janet Jackson gearing up for a Las Vegas residency. What do we know? Yeah, I mean, if you're a big fan of Janet Jackson, things are going to be coming to fruition on this Las Vegas residency coming later this year. She's actually in the final stages of, of making this deal with Resorts World. Man, it seems like Resorts World has some amazing things coming up. They've been in the past had Katy Perry and Carrie Underwood, which is just now wrapping up. And then, you know, we talked about it on the show with you a, a little bit before. Celine Dion is going to be signing a deal with Resorts World as well. So Janet is going to be, you know, doing kind of a shorter stint uh, in late December of 2024 and then Celine Dion is in the final stages of signing her deal with Resorts World that will start in late 2024 or early 2025. No update on Celine Dion's deal currently but I'm sure it's going to be absolutely amazing and especially you know the fact that they're going to have you know possibly both of these residencies happening at the exact same time. I mean if you're a fan of Celine Dion, Janet Jackson then late 2024 is probably the best time to go for you. Branson, I can see it now. The two of us, our own residency in Las Vegas, dueling guitars, we'll call it Branson. Yes, that, that's what you've been practicing for and posting on your Instagram stories. Perfect, let's do it. <laughs> All kidding aside, these residencies really are popular and I'm sure her fans will love this and uh, it's just a great way to have a destination, see a good show, it seems like a win-win. Thank you as always for being with us, bud. Thanks, you guys. Talk to you tomorrow. You bet. You can, of course, catch TMZ TV on our sister station, Fox Providence. Brenson. I like that.